the last second, it was decided to use a doughboy and not a general officer, a man that had been through the hell of World War I to select the unknown. And Chicago and Edward F. Younger was chosen that night because of his war record, because of what he'd went through with the 2nd Division and the 9th Infantry. And this awesome responsibility, you know, comes to him that morning. And he's nervous. He doesn't have any idea, you know, he doesn't know what to do. He prays, and he's given a clutch of white roses and told to select the unknown from four caskets that are draped with American flags. Chopin's funeral march is playing in the background. There's white roses on the floor. And he looks at the American caskets and he looks at the American flag and he says, that's the most sublime I've ever seen of the American flag. And he walks, he paces, he's not able to decide what to do. And he prays again. And then for whatever reason, his, his hand is guided towards the one casket. He says that he feels that the man in that casket was somebody that had fallen next to him in battle. And he places the roses on the casket. 